Hello everyone, I'm Button Awkward Comrade. I welcome you all to subscribe. Queens, pings, and everything in between. So let's get into it. We'll get time to get into it because this bitch be clocking me. So there's that. <laughs> um, mm, I need to let it be known. First off, shameless self plug. Feel free to support me on Cash App at Awkward Comrade or Twitter via Awkward Comrade. You know, it's the same. Um, I currently am striving to get an androgynous brand going. I want to expand the queer scene in Indy and create a clothing brand in which queers, specifically of ages 24 and up, can just find themselves in, or even 20. It's a brand in which is will be so distinct and so androgynous and so versatile that it, it'll speak to just queers all over and it's going to be a brand. I mean, I know I'm not serving it right now, but I want you all, like production's going to be a thing, yada, 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 and it's going to take a lot of money. So it means so much if you all can back me up and making this vision come true. So um, with that being said, let's get right into it. I absolutely do not regret anything that I said in my Sigourney Beaver critique video, but I do want to apologize for specifically for maybe underrating Sigourney because I love Sigourney and I love her glam. I just, I can't get over the fact that it's just so flawless and it's done so well to the point where like, honestly, I can't even be mad. I literally can't even be mad. It's so well done. The blending, everything. I'm not even a makeup queen in that regard, but still, it's just done so well. And girl work. I'm not even mad at the glam that she's serving. I'm not mad at none of it. It's just done to perfection. Glam is her shtick, and she does it so well. But when it comes to the finale, I personally want her to just tinker around with it in a way to fit to add a little bit more filth and horror but I'm just so impressed with her glam that I'm not mad at any of her runways so far with the exception of the hairy monsters challenge everything else is just oh like you you see it sometimes alongside um the competition you're just like okay well that looks like the same thing and then you watch it back and you're like this is really well done like it you and I feel like that's what sometimes resonates more with me. It's like, wow, this is, I could see you wearing this in other places besides the contest. It's just so, mm, it's so well done. But yeah, I guess I can apologize for, you know, maybe being a little underrating when it comes, underrating Sigourney in terms of like, just thinking she was going to go home in that regard. But everything else I meant. So yeah, with that being said, um, what else can we expect? What else can we expect? Um, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to just clear the air about that because some of y'all are just so passionate about Sigourney. Now, I, didn't, I didn't get any negative feedback from anybody in my video. My video wasn't negative. I wrote it out in particular just so I wouldn't trip up and say anything maybe out of whack. But um, yeah, um, besides all that, people have been pretty not pretty forward and honest and passionate in the drag com dragula community so it's a great place i'm enjoying this community and um expect more expect more dragula content come 2022 the finale's upon us i have my personal pick who i think is gonna win i'm sure you do too but hey with that being said i'm but an awkward comrade i welcome you all to subscribe queens, pains, and everything in between. And I'll see you all in the next one. Good night.